to generate SSH key pair in Windows using puttygen.exe tool. Now, first of all, in order to use puttygen.exe tool, we've got to download putty. It's an executable under which you'll find puttygen.exe tool bundled. So let's go to the browser and I'm going to show you where you can download putty from and you take it from there. So here simply give putty and then go to putty.org and here you can download the putty. So click on this one and then it gives you the option of whether you wish to download the 64-bit version of MSI. So since our Windows operating system 64-bit, I'm going to download this one. So now that it's downloaded, I'm going to install it by clicking on this Microsoft installer. Okay, now it's fairly easy to install it. Then hit the next button and then hit install button. Okay, then you finish it off. All right, now you've got to go to the folder and which putty got installed that's where you'll find puttygen.exe executable and that executable will use it to generate the SSH key pair all right so that's where it got installed in C drive program files and putty and within this one as you would see you have the executable puttygen.exe so double click on this one and as you could see it's got the button called as generate which is what is going to generate the public private key pair and while it's getting generated you can give the option of generating it with a paraphrase a paraphrase is nothing but a password so it's like an added means of security to your public private key pair and then at the bottom you have to choose the type of key to generate so RSA, DSA and so on so I believe as far as Oracle Cloud infrastructure is concerned it looks for RSA type of a key so I'm going to leave it as default and then I'm going to hit the generate button so you can click on your mouse on this one to have some sort of randomness so as you could see here is the public key and then you can hit paraphrase over here so give some paraphrase confirm paraphrase now if you have too many passwords I would suggest you to save this paraphrase in a secured place so that you don't forget it okay and once you're done with this then you hit the save public key and then you save the private key okay so I'm gonna save the public key first so save public key and then you simply go there here and give some file name so let's see So I'm going to give this sort of a file name over here. Okay, and likewise you save the private key. But don't give PUB. So PUB basically stands for public. And then hit the save button okay so that's done now you can confirm it by opening the public key and private key in a notepad so I'm gonna go to the place where we have saved okay over here and then I'm gonna open this and 
in notepad so this one is the public key as you can see and the second one is the private key you see here it's the private okay and they are in different formats so basically that's the process under which you create the SSH key pair in Windows using putty gen.exe